but we love Wiley e. Coyote in the Rose Run. <laughs> <laughs> um, just in terms of someone who gets harebrained contraptions to uh, try to accomplish a task. Um, <laughs> but I think, you know, we, we also look a lot at um, like, like film and how like different types of, um, like how shots are constructed in film and how certain types of shots um, work as a tool for driving narrative. And, and so how we can employ, you know, things that are uh, maybe outside of our realm as to people who are trained as object makers um, to try and like, you know, use in this way that makes sense to, uh, to us um, when it's like not really like a, a process or material that we're necessarily super comfortable with. Um, you know, and then of course there's like art, there's like art people, um, <laughs> you know, like I think <laughs> there are art people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are art people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we both love like Gordon Matta Clark and, um, you know, like Anna Mendieta, and the, like a really wide array. I think one of the things that's, that's, a, a great part about our relationship is that we love like a huge range of making. Um, and, and I think that often we're really looking at people who are um, kind of working against whatever moment they're in. And so like we, a really, really big influence for us is self-taught and visionary art. And, um, you know, it's not necessarily like overtly referenced in the work, like visually, but um, as, as a, like a philosophical way of operating in the studio, like in, in also in, in the notions of like giving yourself permission to just do whatever you want in that moment, like that, that those realm, that realm of makers is probably one of the most critical influences on us 